right, we're going to start with our first basic program today. Um, if we were to look at our list, we're going to turn the motor on for two seconds and then turn it off. And so I'm calling this VP1. And so our task description is to turn the motor on for two seconds and then off. So that's the description from the paper. And then we're going to break it down into simple behaviors here. So we've got a start left motor, wait for two seconds, and then stop left motor. So that's our pseudocode. And then here's our task main. So if we go under natural language, again, remember that your communication mode should be USB only and your platform type should be natural language PLTW. And underneath natural language, we should find movement and wait, and we should be able to find the functions that we're looking for. So we're going to pull in a start motor, a wait, and a stop motor. Now, I could type in the motor port, or because I've defined right motor and left motor as ports 1 and 10, I could use either of those. So I'm going to just go ahead and use left motor. If you start typing left, it'll actually give you some options with the word left in it. And you can see left motor is there. I'm just going to hit enter, and it's going to finish typing it for me. I'm just going to do half speed. Uh, wait time is in seconds, so I just put the number 2. And if you're unsure, you can just rub over. Uh, the function over here and it tells you what that those arguments are so if I get a start motor it tells me what the ranges are and the acceptable motors that we can use uh, which is kind of nice and then here we're just going to type in left and again if you just type the M it'll go up and I just hit the tab button so you can hit enter or tab to get that to pop up last thing I want to do is fix my white space fix formatting and then if you want to start putting in some comments, again, you can hit tab. So something like that. Compile your program. Make sure you don't have any errors. And again, if you had something where you weren't dragging and dropping and you were actually typing it in and you forgot this, it's going to give you a warning. It says missing semicolon. And again, it tells you line 37. So you should look for your error right around line 37 and find out where have you missed the semicolon. Now, it's automatically been inserted because the compiler is pretty smart. Uh, but we're going to make sure that we don't have any warnings or errors in our code when we compile and download. I'm going to go ahead and download to my Cortex. I'll turn my Cortex on. And now uh, we can actually have little tabs along here um, based on our debugger windows. So we can go into debugger windows and make sure that we have motors and sensors tabs checked. Um, so right now you can see I'm on the motors tab. And when I hit start, I should see that the left motor power goes to 50 for two seconds and then goes back to zero. And you can also hear that my motor was running. Uh, if my motor wasn't running, we then have to do some troubleshooting. So if I have, let's say I have my power off, my main power, and I hit start, I can still see that that's a 50, but I don't hear anything. So the first thing I want to do is make sure that my main power is on. Um, and I can see that it's not, so I'll turn that on again, hit start, and there it goes. Now, if that if your main power is on and the motor still doesn't start, you might have a bad motor or you might need to re-download the firmware. So to check if it's a bad motor, just unplug that motor and plug a different motor in and see if it works. And if it's if that doesn't work, then you could re-download firmware. So exit out. Exit out of here. Um, and then go to firmware download and just do a re-download of that. So that is BP1.